this episode, we take you to Cumberland County, to a place called the Wentworth Valley. To most people in Nova Scotia, this area is most famous for its ski hill. Right up front, I want to make sure everybody knows this particular little adventure that we're taking is special thanks to one of our YouTube subscribers who brought this site to our attention because as a young boy over 50 years ago, he visited and found this mine back in the Wentworth Forest. The information that he brought to us was basically up on the east side of the mountains on the Wentworth Valley, there is a waterfall area related to a stream known as Smith Brook that flows underneath the CN rail line through a water tunnel that they cut underneath the railway right through the mountain. And just in the area where the water flows out of that CN waterway, and just at the top of a waterfall, the local lore in the area was that this little mine was an old abandoned uranium mine from back in the 1940s, driven as a prospect. Now I want to be very clear, we went and searched this out in the provincial documentation at the Department of Natural Resources, and what we found was there is absolutely no record of this little mine in the abandoned mine opening database of the Nova Scotia Department of Natural Resources. Now whether or not this mine was an actual uranium mine or not is thus unknown for sure, but we can tell you with extensive research we've looked into the Wentworth Valley area, it was prospected for many, many decades for uranium long before the moratorium in Nova Scotia where there could be no more mining or prospecting for uranium in the province of Nova Scotia after around 1985. So let's begin our journey on the CN Line rail tracks heading towards that Brook Valley, Smith's Brook, in the Wentworth Mountains. Let's go see if we can find this little uranium mine. Let's go! All right, we're gonna head in and down. We believe that this is the spot to uh, cut down through the woods to get down to the, uh, the top of the falls. So we'll see what we find down here. Okay, we're starting to hear the water now, so we're heading further down the hill, trying to get to the bottom of that ravine past the train tracks where the water tunnel exits on this side of the, uh, of the tracks. Again, trying to find that uh, top waterfall plateau where the water comes through the tunnel under the CN rail line. And allegedly that's where we're going to uh, find the hint of this at it. Okay, we've made it to the water, which is uh, down here. We'll get a clearer look once we're down there. But if you look right in the center of the screen, right there, we do we have spotted the ad. It's, it, it, it's, it's there, so we're going to go down and see. Let's go. We're going to head down this way. All right, here we are at the bottom. Over there is the, uh, the tunnel where the, uh, the water comes out from the CN uh, water tunnel coming under the line. Flows down here and then heads over a waterfall. And over there is the adit that we are here for. Not marked by Department of Natural Resources, no record of this whatsoever. And we're gonna see what's in there today. We're gonna work on letting some of this water out because it's uh, pooled fairly deep here in front of the entrance. So there is the mouth. If we can let some of this water out, this will go much more shallow. We'll try anyway. There we go. So here we are at the mouth, um, looking in. We've got some uh, water running here. Drips. But what lies ahead is unknown because this is uh, this may be 20 feet deep, it may be 200, we don't know yet. But the main point was to come here to uh, document this and uh, kind of like another groundbreaking spot where we find something that uh, is off the beaten path. 
All right, there is, uh, there is water in the mine, so what we did was just dug a little trench to assist in maybe dropping the level a bit. You can see, uh, you can see how we did it there. And we'll let that uh, run for a little bit before we head in. It'll drop it a few inches for us anyway. All right, we're gonna head in now and traverse the water and check out what this little mine is about. Now, it's pretty low. Again, we have no idea what to expect. Is it silty? Uh, well, the end right here. That's the end? Yeah, oh, is it? Okay. Interesting. You it for me, I gotta get out. Okay. Yeah, we're getting a little, little bit of a pungent smell in here, folks, so. Okay. Yeah, this has a lot of stuff from the river that was washed in, silt and uh, sticks. But that's all she wrote. Yeah, I'd say about maybe 70 feet. The alleged uranium mine. All right, so that's all she wrote for that little baby. We were told it may have been potentially 200 feet, but not really. We're gonna head home now. Not much more we can do at this particular site, so interesting little prospect to find, something off the beaten path, not marked by Department of Natural Resources in the Aband Abandoned Mine Opening Database. So we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.